Hey there, it's been a while. I had a procedure done on my face, I um, guess it's about a month ago, uh, to kind of treat precancer cells that were um, randomly around my face. So I had to go to the dermatologist and have this lotion put on my face and sit there for an hour and then go under this UV blue light, like a cage thing, sit with my face in there for 17 minutes till my face pretty much fried and it got red and swollen. Then it started to burn and it was stiff. I couldn't open my mouth to eat. Um, by the fourth or fifth day, it started peeling and then I could help. I just kept peeling it off and then put lotion and the lotion would burn. It was just miserable. So, um, but it was over in like, I don't know, 10 days or something like that. So it's been about a month and it's fine now. <laughs> um, but that's part of the reason I wasn't filming. <laughs> okay, so this is the fourth day after the treatment on my face. <laughs> oh my God, can my face get any fatter? Now it is dry and cracking and I could barely move my mouth to eat. <sighs> and as you can see by the hat, uh, I can't be in the sun. So what, how many inches did you lose now? Wow. Guess what happened? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I got sick. I got a headache. Um, didn't think anything of it. Took some Tylenol. Headache turned into some body aches. Body aches turned into tired, turned into fever. Um, yeah, like 48 hours, I just kind of like laid around and that's totally not like me. But uh, by the third day, back to work, doing everything normal. And by the end of that week, I had to do my weekly um, COVID screening that I do every week. And they said positive. I was like, what? <laughs> I was sick a week ago. I'm fine now. So although I was supposed to work the whole weekend, I was off. I was home, uh, even though I felt totally fine. So here is yet another week that nothing exciting has happened. Good, excellent, good job. Good, Haley, I missed you. Take the other one if you got, yep, you bring it behind and then grab on. Beautiful, nice job, nice. But it is very beautiful. Nice. These are the butterflies. Oh, do you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Staff here and the mayor and the county support us, so it gives us the opportunity to do that for them. It's amazing what we, what we do. I want to take a look inside. Yeah, what we do in this small facility. <laughs> And to, to use his litter box. Oh. Just like a mom with, with their real baby, okay. we do that with our baby. Okay. Hey Chris, just recently we hired a new animal control officer. Oh yeah, we have well we have two new animal control officers. How many how many cats did he catch? Oof. The T and R program, which is a trap, neuter, and release in town, he must have trapped 35 cats in like two, three weeks. 
it's just amazing. And unfortunately, some of them have become pregnant because of the COVID, you know. But an unbelievable job uh, Louis Gillian is doing. Unbelievable. And now we just hired another additional uh, animal control officer, Andrew, who has experience in a little bit more pest control and, and that area. So that knowledge will come to us and we'll be able to figure out that because we're not pest control or wildlife experts. Mm -hmm. We're truly animal, but you know, in the sake of pet animal. Mm -hmm. So this little guy is our newest addition. Now today, unfortunately, <laughs> we were supposed to receive puppies from Louisiana, but they won't be in today to for you for you to see. This is where I don't believe you're caging the animal. I mean, when they're small, yes. Yeah. Yes, they're all over. And this is our adult cat room where people come in and they sit with them, and it's like a home for them. So when they come from this type of atmosphere and go to your atmosphere, they're well adjusted. So this is very very good to have it in most shelters. Don't, but I don't believe in caging. Friendly, but some of them are afraid of people. But yeah. we're not a kill shelter. Yeah, we so they'll just live here forever. Of course. Hi, Priya. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to invade your space. I don't see you there. It's okay. We're just visiting. All right, I'll leave. Hi there. Look at this little girl. Oh, look oh, at you. Yes, oh, you're so her. cute. Oh, and oh, 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 Today are just a few commencement ceremonies for the town of Sea Caucus and um, the renaming of the road going into the Sea Caucus Animal Shelter. And there is another area on Meadowlands Parkway that's going to become uh, a really nice park called Imagine. And uh, I'll show you what's going on. The entire park, it's two acres. It will be named Imagine, as you see over there. That is the signboard. It is Imagine what a wonderful world this can be. And this garden will show them the path to that world. And in in this park, right up to the circle over there, the, uh, almost almost two thirds of this park will be Dada J Dada will be Joy and Peace Garden, named after Dada J. P. Vaswani. There's going to be walking paths all through here. This whole area is going to be a sensory garden, the whole thing. You can't see it now because it's under construction. And then you can walk over there, that's going to be a community garden. There's 60 beds going in so people can plant their own flowers and vegetables. Sunflowers everywhere, it's going to be something that everybody wants to see. You know, the hospital is right there. Hopefully, with the sensory garden, they come and they sit. We have benches throughout the whole area. And they can meditate, they can do whatever they have to do, say a prayer, and people let us stay. So I'm going to have myself, the Nano Faith Society, the Mayor and Council. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bargo Devasya Dhimahi Riyo Yona Prachodaya To
Yes, it is Memorial Day weekend. It's beautiful out. The pool has finally opened and I am off today. I just would like to say um, thank you to all the service men and women who are serving our country and to take a moment tomorrow on Memorial Day to remember why you're off from work. People actually died risking their lives to serve our country so that we have freedom. And I like to say just God bless their families who are survived. Have a safe and healthy, happy weekend. Today we pray that those who lie here have found peace with their creator. And we resolve that their sacrifice will always be remembered by a grateful nation. The fallen give silent witness to the price of our liberty. And our nation honors them this day and every day.